welcome back to my channel this is a quick couple of minutes to uh, crypto bitcoin price update so if this bitcoin price fractal from 2018 could trap the bulls sing bitcoin price to 25,000. so uh, this is quite quite scary okay news release earlier this week on monday there was another news release okay bitcoin bull trap three indicators that predict bitcoin price falling to 24 27 thousand okay so is this uh, uh, you know downward momentum starting now or not so they found this very interesting fractal from 2018 and look at it okay i'm gonna zoom in quick uh, like here right now so look at this fractal okay this is the this this is the fractal from uh, four years ago okay and very very similar two similar patterns are happening right now so will the bitcoin go to 25,000 now okay that's a big big question which we can answer now in this video <laughs> one always start analyzing from larger time frame so bitcoin is a bitcoin weekly time frame bitcoin weekly time frame is has been quite bullish since already four weeks okay however there's a big problem first problem is that bitcoin is below this exponential moving average line ribbons okay and it's fine it needs to fight its way through these ribbons you know to to basically make the bull run okay to continue its bullish momentum uh, and um, by looking at this, we can see that the price is, is, you know, is below the ribbons already for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks, basically. That's why price is kind of fluctuating, you know, and nobody knows what's going to happen, you know, in, a, in, you know, in a near medium term. Uh, now, when we take a look at the daily, daily, we can see that we can, ha you know, it has broken out of this ribbon right here. You see, this is the ribbon and the Bitcoin has broken out. But the problem is that Bitcoin price on a daily chart is in between 200 uh, moving average and 50 moving average. Okay, so it's now fighting in between. What else we can see that we can see that uh, Bitcoin has reached its uh, local top. Yes, on a daily chart, we can see that uh, Bitcoin reached its top and now it's reversing. Okay. Uh, so this top was uh, 45,000 respectively, okay? But as I told you in my previous video, for Bitcoin to go up, it needs to break this most crucial level, which is at for uh, which is at 45 uh, 46,000, okay? Exactly at 46,000. Let me uh, edit this quickly right here. So 46,000 46,000 it needs to break this if I'm gonna see a new one hour or two hour candlestick above 46,000, that means that that's a great sign that, you know, it's gonna continue to go visit previous higher highs. And as you know, our previous higher high was here at the $68,000 area. Okay, but it's too early to talk about that. Now, furthermore, what we see on the RSI, on the RSI we see bad sign. I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is terrible. Not really terrible, but bad for a sh you know short term. Yes, we all know that Bitcoin is gonna go and reach its all higher highs again, higher highs again. But it will take time. But if you are you know if you are a trader, you know this has, could be a little bit worrying. Look at this, you know. Uh, basically, look at this. Okay, so the RSI is showing us lower highs. But at the same time, you know, if we see this, and if we see Bitcoin making higher high. Okay, higher highs, for example, if the Bitcoin was making higher highs, that's terrible sign. That basically means that there's, there's divergence uh, and the markets are meant to go down. Now we don't see that. We see what, you know, we see that the RSI is making a lower highs, but we also see the same on the Bitcoin, on Bitcoin price. Okay, see it's making, a, it's also making a lower highs. Now let's see the, in, uh, look at the indicators. Okay, so on a four hour chart. Here we can see that on the 4-hour chart, this is this was our, our good old triangle, okay? So Bitcoin, to go up, it needs to break this resistance at 46,000, respectively, okay? However, we can also trade it, okay? Whenever the Bitcoin is going to do this wobble, 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 if it breaks this line, okay, which is our support line on a, on a daily, then if we see new 4-hour or 2-hour candle below here, I will make, personally, I'll make short, I'm gonna sell Bitcoin. Now, another thing, okay, as you can see, the parabolic SAR, you see these blue dots, just eight hours ago, eight hours ago, parabolic SAR started showing sell signal. 
see two dots on on the top of the candlestick pins price you know is, is you know experiencing bearish momentum okay for time being right to conclude okay rsi bearish macd bearish however macd is starting to show you know this uh, you know macd line and the signals line is, is wants to go and do crossover so uh, the crossover is going to happen very very shortly whenever that happens it's going to determine next bitcoin price move now the moving average is okay bitcoin is uh, Bitcoin is above the 250 moving average on a 4 hour chart. So short term, it's now fighting, okay? It's as you can see it's respecting this 50 line this 50 line right here uh, as as a support, okay? But do you know that if the Bitcoin breaks 50 moving average, breaks downside, okay? If you see new candle below, that's it, okay? Bitcoin is going to go down and going to fight for this support. But now we know that this is our triangle and just wait, you know, for this wobble, wobble, wobble and make your move whenever the Bitcoin makes a breakout, you know. That's for those who are trading Bitcoin, like myself. If you're holding this different story, okay. Uh, if you're holding, you should look for the next uh, the dips, which already happened here. However, now looks like the Bitcoin, looks like that Bitcoin has visited and it has visited its, its, its um, recent highs, okay. Right here. And now it just wants to go down. It needs to go down to retest this level again to, to shoot back up, basically speaking. Thank you for watching this video. I love you all. If you need help in trading, you know what to reach me. Trade safely, please. Trade responsibly. Enjoy your profits. And always remember, okay, education and practice is the key. Uh, yeah, thank you again. Thank you for subscribing and bye-bye. God bless.